Hello everyone, well, let's get on with it. I've got my scissors, I've got a big box with a very, very heavy vacuum cleaner inside it. So let's have a look at it, shall we? It's a Nilco, or a Fakia. No, that isn't a rude word. This is supposed to have no idea, I've no idea what this machine will be like. I've never had any first-hand experience of this cleaner. Um, all I know, it's supposed to be new and unused, but it is an older model. It's an old commercial upright vacuum with a, a soft bag. Made in West Germany by, by a company called Fakir, F-A-K-I-R. I believe that's how you spell it, but this one's branded Nilco. There's an awful lot of... Um, newspaper in here. I've carried this to the top of my house two flights of stairs to uh, record this and um, it was very heavy. Like we can just judge if it's a quality seller, the quality of the newspaper they've wrapped in. Oh it's a local rag by the looks of it. Uh, it's the Kent the Kent News. Kent News. It's from, uh, I think this has come from Dover. Ah, oh, right. That's why it's such a big box. The inner box. The vacuum cleaner's actually inside this. So, what I'll do, I'll just pause for a minute and remove all this, and then we'll open the inner box to reveal the vacuum cleaner. Right then, so I've got all that packaging away. It says it's a, I don't know if we can quite see because there's brown tape on it, but the English for this is a carpet sweeping machine. Well, I hope it does a lot more than sweep. I think there'll be some suction there. Um, it's a 660 watt motor, and this is what they call a dirty fan cleaner like the old Hoover Seniors and Juniors, where the, where the dirt passed straight through the fan. And often machines like that, also Kirby's I believe are dirty fan cleaners, machines like that tend to have very good airflow and very good performance. I'm not sure if the instruction book will be in here, I'm hoping so, I don't think it was pictured in the listing. I decided to go for this, it was on a buy it now, and it was a bit pricey, but eBay offered a 20% discount for, for a few hours one day, and I thought, hmm, 20% off, it makes it a little bit more attractive. Not a lot to see yet. Hmm, well that's going to need some metal polish on it. That's the trouble with eBay, of course. Photos don't always show the true facts. Oh, that's very, uh, oh, crikey, got a, something big in there. Could do with an iron actually, this bag. It's very heavy. It's got it's a top filling bag, obviously. How do we get into it? Mm, haven't seen any instruction book yet. Phew, does smell a bit. Oh, and that is a bit... Is that supposed to be like that? I don't know. <coughs> There's a sort of a, a leatherette or leather effect. Hopefully it's not real leather. That's at a wear point on the machine. This is a commercial machine, so it's got to be built to last. That's why they've put that there, because I think it rubs, does it rub against the handle? Anyway, so it's a cloth bag, but with an inner paper bag, and the seller's divided. It's huge, crack, it's far bigger than I expected. No wonder it weighed so much. I've got, look, some original, oh, Kent, that's funny. Considering I was uh, looking at a Kent newspaper, got the Electrolux symbol as well in Kent. I wonder if Kent 
has something to do with Electrolux, the Kent Company. But anyway, I believe these are supposed to fit this machine. They look a bit... I wonder where this has been stored. Oh, it's one like that. Ooh, very odd bag. Now I did have another commercial cleaner. That was it. Yes, I had um, a sanitaire upright that had this sort of bag. It's a very odd thing. I wasn't expecting. I thought it would be like a push, you know, a bag that you just pushed on. But you have to connect that up somehow. I don't know if these are the right bags actually. They look a bit funny, don't they? A bit funny. It smells a bit too. It is massive. It's not, I was thinking it would be Hoover Senior size, but it's, I expect, double the size of Hoover Senior. Okay, it's going to need a bit of a wipe and a polish. Metal polish. I mean, that's, that weighs a tonne. It's got a spanner built in for assembly. There's a cord hook there. It's quite thin, that handle, but it does feel like it's very, very strong. I don't want to put any oily marks on my rug. Here's the top handle with a grip. It's another hook. And that must be where the bag fits. You attach the cloth bag to that little gizmo there. Look there. Mmm. Very curious. I haven't seen any instructions, which is a shame. I'm sure I'll fathom it. But what we do have, not that I'll ever need them, because well, I will be doing a demo of this, but I can't see, looking at it, unless I move into a mansion, I can't see this being a regular vacuum. It's got, that's odd. I wonder if they are the correct belts. Very odd belts. They're, they're not what I would expect. But of course, I'm just, I'm picturing this is like a Hoover Senior underneath. I think it actually is. So, I don't know if these are the correct belts, but they're in, they're in there. And there's some brushes too, that obviously need screwing in, judging by the screw holes. Oh, they're very soft. Very soft for a commercial cleaner. Unless, of course, these are a set of soft brushes that you could put in place of the brushes that are on. I'm not sure if they'll be stiffer on the machine. Ah, it's got a fitted plug, so it's not that old then. I really don't know. If anyone out there can date this for me, we'll have a look at the serial number and everything. But the fact that it's got a fitted plug, obviously it's a commercial cleaner, so it probably looks a little bit more old-fashioned. But I'm surprised to see quite a modern-looking fitted plug. Surprised, but pleased. I didn't really fancy having to fit my own plug. Of course I can fit a plug, but a lot of flex there. And it's heavy, heavy flex. Okay, let's hope I don't rupture anything taking this out. Oh, right. There is no instructions. Let's pop that down. I'll just check inside the box just to be sure. No. The instructions weren't mentioned. I'll go online because the internet is a marvellous resource for things and sometimes you find instruction books where it's certainly a it's a hefty beast. Not, you know, it's it needs a polish and a wipe and it's not super perfect. It's I'd say it's it is unused, but it's been stored who knows where. It says Fakir type 271, 50 hertz, 240 volts, 660 watts, art number, which I assume means article number, 4229 0026610, made in Western Germany. Oh, oh it's heavy. It's a heavy, a heavy machine. Can we see? There we go. Can, we, can you read that now? Fakir. But branded Nilco and the model, it's a Nilco 271. Look at the size of it's massive. Wow. Yeah, the brushes are quite soft. They are soft. 
softer than Hoover Senior. And, oh, that's odd. It's plastic. I thought that would have been metal, wouldn't you? I mean, there is a lot of metal in here, obviously. Um, and another thing that I didn't, yes, I'm disappointed at, but I'm not surprised. I don't think there's any height adjustment on this. Being a commercial cleaner, this was supposed to probably just clean commercial type carpeting, which is quite flat. So there doesn't seem to be any way of raising or lowering the cleaning head, as you could say on Hoover Senior. So it's got four wheels, but I mean, it, this is built like a tank. I mean, it really is built like a tank. I think when I switch this on, the whole house is going to shake. It's a good job. I'll test this. I'm going to do a lot of decorating soon. So it's probably best I try this before I start painting and causing any cracks in the walls. <laughs> Let's take this off. Hang on, have I... Don't want to force anything. I assume it just pulls off. Alright. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So, a very solid metal base plate. Ah! Now, well, that's good in a way. It does, these must be the correct belts. So it's not been stored. It's a very odd belt, isn't it? Look how thin that is, but it feels like it won't stretch. I can't describe it. It's probably the sort of belt you'd get in a car, a fan belt type of material, or the belt in a washing machine or a tumble dryer, it's that sort of stuff. It's not the regular sort of belt. Oh my lord, that fan. The fan is, oh, it's huge. It's very hard. To, I think the, f the fan, you know, is almost as big as this. Looking at the f size of the fan blades, crikey. <laughs> this is going to take, I think, oh, it's going to take my carpets off. I mean, it's, it's it's hard to show you, but that's the pulley where you put the belt on, and there is an absolutely massive. Can we just try? And I just, it's very hard to get it into shot, but there is a massive, massive fan. Oh, and at six hundred odd watts, that is going to be one hell of a suck. I'm I'm going to have to somehow. Ah, oh, just pulls off okay I wonder if that's adjustable so I need to pop the belt on I'm going to lay it down reposition the camera and attach the belt attach the bag and handle and we're gonna see I mean it's an absolute it's 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 a bit scary to be honest I know young children sometimes who like vacuums now and you know you might have grown up but as a child you might have been a bit scared of the vacuum. And I know I wasn't always a fan of the Hoover Seniors for some reason. My mum never had one, but we had neighbours and friends and relations that had seniors. And that looks a bit... I don't know, it's supposed to be. Um, it was a headlight and the noise it made. It was a bit scary for a young child. And as a fully grown adult, I'm a bit scared by... I'm a bit scared by this. It's... There's something sort of... Ooh, I don't know. It's not, you know, it's not all very nice and plastic and colourful. Um, as you'd expect a modern vacuum cleaner to be. It is a massive, massive cleaner. Right, I'll just uh, zoom in on this and then try and work out how we can fit one of these belts. If you see this motor spindle, I mean, it's totally different to a Sassinia. It fits over that way, but there is a little diagram here. I'll just zoom in and show you. There you go, that's a little diagram similar to the diagram you'd find on a junior or senior to show which way to loop the belt. So, I need to obviously pop the belt through the centre of the agitator. And then there's two springs either side, a spring here and a spring here. I'm not sure if there's different ways. Ah, oh, there probably is. I think there's a different way of locating this um, as the brush wears down because there's some different symbols. This possibly could, I don't know, it's sort of a height control, so I have to be wary of that. Anyone who knows 
what that's about. If I haven't found any instructions, this, anything you know about this vacuum, please, could you comment um, and give me any pointers? I'm just trying to locate the belt over the pulley. It's a very unusual type belt. Um, mm, that's the way it goes on. I didn't see which way it came off, but I think I'll pop it back in that way. Make sure it's the same symbol uppermost, either side. There we go. All right, I think that's in. Whoops, there we go. I think that's it. I think that belt's going to last quite a while. And then if we locate the nozzle plate, so just there's some lugs there. And I need to push it and smooth these little. The old Hoover seniors used to have a similar setup to this, where you just you could take off the base plate using these sort of lever things. But the latest models, I think the Power Plus onwards, they had to have it screwed down, it was some safety thing. Um, they must have changed the criteria or something, but uh, there we go, that's it, that's it. And then we lock it into place. There we go, that's that's on. Ah, now, that's that can't be right. I don't know if that's on right, because I think I've got it on the, yes, I think that's setting. The brushes are hardly moving because they're rubbing against the base plate. So I think I've put it in the setting you'd put it in if the brushes were worn. I think that's what I've done. It's all trial and error at the moment. Hang on, this is gonna be tricky again. There we go. I'm thinking I don't want to force anything, but I'll be uh, very strong to be able to break anything on this. I think, yes. I'll have it so that the Sure, yeah, I don't know. It is, it this obviously wasn't correct the way I'd put it on. The brushes certainly weren't in the way. Now, there we go. Now, is that on? Let's see. I probably should have looped the belt on first. Yes, I should put the belt needs to go on the spindle before you locate. The agitator back. There we are. Right. Let's see if that's done it. I think that's the correct way. Yes. Locate it at the front first. Oh, I bet you're itching to see this going. I know I am. Don't fast forward though. You know, savour it. Visit the lavatory if you have to. Uh, Pop the kettle on while I'm uh, <laughs> fiddling with my new Nilco. There we go, that's it. Now that's still not correct. Right, I will pause. I will pause this. Have a bit of a fiddle because it's very boring for you. Well, I think I've managed to sort it. I did go online when I had the camera paused to see if I could find some online instructions but uh, in the quick search I've just done I haven't been able to find any so if any of my viewers knows or can point me in the right direction of where I can buy some instructions or um, see them anyway that would be useful. Anyway I think I've, I've located it properly now the brushes aren't brushing against the edge of the base plate now or any, you know, they're just skimming it so I do think the setting I had it in, there's a different setting. So when, when the brushes wear down, you can obviously turn the end caps to the different position in order to give a little bit more life in the brush. Well, I think that's fine. Now, oh, so we need to, this is uh, Lottie actually. I don't know if we can quite see her. Lottie here is Daisy. She looks a bit like Daisy. She's Daisy's sister. And we've got Lottie here for the week. And Daisy will not have anything to do with Lottie. She's absolutely snubbed her. Isn't she dear? 
Lottie's a whiner. She's a whiner. I thought I had it bad with Daisy, but oof. Right, Lottie, you've had your well. You have been seen on YouTube once before when I did that Facebook intro. Anyway, can you? Mm. You won't want to be here when I turn the vac on. I can assure you. I don't want to be here. Right, off you move. Okay, first thing to do, I'm going to give this a polish up before the demo. I mean, this is metal, metal, metal. Uh, I'm going to attach the handle now. So, this is obviously the lower handle. Um, where's my scissors? Here we go. Let's take this tape off. And, yeah, that's going to need... It's left a nasty mark, but that will need some sticky stuff remover. I've got some nice metal polish. I've got some car polish. I've got some sticky stuff remover for that. Okie dokie. Right, now I think... It would help if I had a picture of this. Now obviously it fits, there's a nut and a bolt, oh well here's a um, spanner, the spanner provided, Lottie is okay, if you can just see her in the background, she looks like she's passed out, but I'm, I'm sure she's fine, it's just a case of which way, let me see, which way do I put, ah, the, ah that goes that way, okay, okie dokie, that's unusual because the cord wrap is at the front by the looks of it not at the side so in goes the handle and I'll put the nut in it's amazing where these things you know things on eBay where they turn up you wonder where they've been why didn't they get used but this is probably not as old as it looks with the as I say, the modern fitted plug, and I don't think it's a replacement flex. I do think this is all original. I won't. I've tightened. I don't really want to tighten it too much. It's still sticking out a bit. Um, I don't want to over tighten it. I will um, sort it later. Now, oh dear, Lottie, can you budge up, darling? That's a good girl. Right now, I've got. Two little bits here, and I think these hold the flex to the handle. I think that must push in. Perhaps I should have done that before tightening. Oh, it's very awkward. This is not having an instruction book. I do like an instruction book. Hmm. Oh, now there's one at the top. Whoops, that's come off. There's a and that would fit. There's a hole at the top of there. Uh, oh right, I've just worked it out. I think there's a hole. Why is there two? Oh dear. Oh, I think that goes in there. I'm oh, just off camera. There's a little hole on the hook. And I've got another screw at the top here. Is that going to go in? Yes. Ah, oh, there's two screws. That's, oh, that. oh, I'll just tighten it by hand and then just give it a bit of a, a rudimentary tightening. Sorry, this is all off camera. It's not interesting. I'm just tightening my nuts. That's all I'm doing. Nothing to see here, folks, but I'm not going all the way with them. I think it's best that I leave my nuts a bit loose for the time being, maybe until I can get some advice from the vacuum community that I'm a member of, I suppose, possibly, who knows, they probably all hate me but you know that's up to them, there we go, there we are, that's it, right, okay I've got the handle, the handle attached, and now the bag. So I need to turn the machine around and we can see here there's some hand operated doobries. I wonder if we can... Oh, oh my lord! Now that was really hard for me to show you. But it's a double fan. Now you won't, you won't be able to see that. I'll have to get a torch. I'll do another video. I'm going to do a proper demo. 
it's not just the fan blades this side, this fans, but on the other side of the fan, there's more fan blades. That's overkill. This is gonna, what's it gonna, unless those are for cooling the motor. That's possibly what they're for. I don't know. I'm clueless when it comes to this vacuum, really. Hmm. I'm assuming it goes on that way. If I try to put it on that way, no. Or, oh, does it? Hang on, does it? See, there's a little hook here. That's the top of the bag. That slid off. I can't even remember which way it went. I think it was this way. It might be that way, actually. With Is it that way with that to the back? Mm, that could be it, yes. That could be it, actually, because that would prevent wear on the bag if you're going under furniture, possibly. Because there is a little hook there, but that doesn't seem to... Oh, will it just hook over? Will it hook over like that? It doesn't really hook over there. Oh, dear. I've seen a picture of one of these on... Let's have a quick look. I've seen a picture of one of these. There's no point looking at the listing of this because it was just shown in the box. Um, I've put Fakir, no it's not a Fakir, what it is, but it's... I put Nilco, Nilco, oops, 271, into that interweb. Go and search on images. And there is an image a bit assembled. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. Let's click on videos. No. There's no videos showing for this cleaner yet on Google, but there will be, because obviously there's this video now, and there will soon be a demo. So I'm going to undo these. I'm thinking it just goes, pushes on. Um, oh, is it that way? No, I think I'm going to have to loosen it even more. Dun, 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 dun. Are you alright there, Lottie, in the background, having a sniff? Bless her, she doesn't know where she is. There we go, that's it. Had to undo them quite a lot. Now to tighten them. I'll just do them each in turn. Oh yes, let's locate it properly. There is a knack. This makes a Hoover Senior look, I don't know, like a toy. I mean, it's unbelievable. I did have one of those all-metal Hoover uprights. I can't remember the model. I'm sure somebody knows. Um, with, a, with, with The one with a huge bumper, all-metal. I think Hoover nicknamed it the Indestructible. I've seen some uh, videos on YouTube where people find fun in destroying a vacuum cleaner. But I think they'd have trouble with that one. And I think they'd have trouble with this one, too. That seems to be in place. I think that's correct with that bit at the back. But now it's it's trying to work out. Oh, crikey. Now I can't see this being my daily driver somehow. Let's try to work out how on earth. Now there's a bit of reinforcement here. Oh. That must belong in there, surely. That doesn't come out, it's plastic. But inside there's a great big tube and a flexible bellow in there. I'm sure, I think this must still, we must leave this in to give some rigidity, if that's the correct word, to the bag. So I'll put that back, but it's how on earth? Oh, it's, I have no idea how you fit that up. You see, it shows, I don't know if these are the correct bags, so I don't know if I can do a demo, it shows Oh, a coil spring. But then this is this is not for this model, you know. I just assumed it would be like a push fitting bag. I don't think this is correct. This is for a bottom this is for a bottom fill vacuum, I would have thought. It's a bit hard to see the pictures because they're a bit a bit faded. This, these aren't the correct bags. So the seller obviously didn't know what he was selling, providing the incorrect bags. 
This is for a bottom fill vacuum because this part is basically the fill tube but in paper. So that would actually fit in the same way a junior or senior would fit along the, you know, at the bottom. But then it would be sort of a top fill because the dirt would come up this uh, sleeve, so to speak, and into the bag. So this is not the bag. This is not the correct bag. So I can turn the machine on, but I'm not going to do any vacuuming with it. I'll, I will source some genuine bags for this and hopefully might be able to find some instructions and then I'll be able to do the demo properly, but I will. Oof, I'm going to switch this beast on. I'm not sure about this bit here because it doesn't seem to tally in oh, very well. I really don't think, I think there's something missing. I think there's something missing here. Oh, I paid quite, you know, I'm not going to, I'm sure there's something missing because this does not if you look at the top here, there's this little metal thing. I think there should be a spring. I think there should be a spring. And without any, oh, what's in? Let's have a look. Let's have a look before I go mental. There's the box. The box is behind me. I think that's missing. And I will ask some advice about this. Oh, there's, there's a wire showing at the side there. There's definitely something missing because I can't, for the life of me, yes, there is, a, I would have thought it would be a, a, a spring that connects the top of the bag here to this bit because there's no way that's going to fit. It needs to be a spring because it needs to be flexible. That's what's missing. Whether or not I'll be able to get that, I don't know. This might be going back because I'm not paying 100 and whatever it was. I can't use it because the bag will be like that. And I'm not going to, for this money, I'm not going to tie a piece of string and say that's okay. The bags are wrong that the seller's provided and the spring is missing. There's definitely something, something amiss there. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll switch it on anyway. Hopefully it'll work. But uh, I think little Lottie, I don't know what this is going to sound like, little Lottie, I'm going to take you downstairs. So, I'll just pause the camera and then we'll turn this Nilco on. Well, I've had a preview of the noise of this vacuum because when I turned it, when I plugged it in, it did turn on. Very surprising. Very, very quiet. Uh, but it took a while to get going. I can't really show you much. But anyway, I'm switching it on now. Is that, I don't know, it, doesn't, it doesn't really sound like a vacuum cleaner. It's a, an odd sounding machine. Let's show you the agitator. I was expecting it to sound, you know, like a, a Hoover Senior or something. Right. Well, what an odd, what an odd sounding vacuum. Let's have a little... Ugh. Take that off and have a look with the belt uh, cover, the base plate off. Switch it on again. Where's the switch? It's very, very quiet. Let's hope I can get that part. Don't know if I'm able to feel the suction. Obviously, there's no bag in it. More a little bit more vibration without all oh, that smooth running though. Gosh. 
Well, what a shame. What a shame. There's definitely a bit missing and there's the wrong bag. So I'm going to have to say I'm going to be doing a demo of this. Something to look forward to. But I'm going to have to get some advice, take some photos and, and ask some people who will know more about this than me. What should it should there be at the top of the the bag? Because I'm sure there should be a spring. Let's just check I've put that on correctly. Yeah, I would have liked to have given it a bit of a go. That's a bit uh, scuffed. But yes, there's absolutely no way on earth that that bag is. It definitely needs a spring. And quite a long spring, I, I suspect. But the trouble is getting a bag. You know, I've seen, I think you can buy bags for this. Obviously, I haven't got the correct bags. It does make me a bit cross when people on eBay don't know what they're selling. Haven't got a clue because that, I see these bags are useless to me. Um, mm. And it's a very unusual shape at the top. It's not round, so I don't think I've got I've got nothing that I can fit, unfortunately. So, as much as I'd have liked to have uh, given a bit of a demo, I can't this time. But anyway, there it is. Hopefully, you'll see this again. I'm sure. Being a commercial machine, I don't know how old it is or if I can still get parts. It's just the spring at the top that's lacking in some bags. Um, it's got, oh, it's got a huge, look at the size of this. You wouldn't miss that, would you? Look at that. Look at that, oh. Oh, it feels, feels like it could take a lot of punishment. And of course, there is the on-off switch. That's a big, a big foot release. Anyway, I think I've, Put it together properly just it's just missing that but there oh well it should move easier when it's on because i'm not can't turn it on now because all the dirt that it might be picking up it probably uh, remove most of the fibers of this rug actually um the dirt will just go into the cloth bag and i don't want that happening at the moment but anyway there we go fully assembled and not as heavy out of the box, but still it's a hefty beast. It's a beast of a cleaner. Anyway, there we go, that's the Nilco 271 unboxed and partly demonstrated. As I say, hopefully, see the bag's just going to do that. Can't really use it like this, can I? With a bag trailing on the floor. I don't think that would be very good and the bag wouldn't last very long at all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see the outcome of this, a full demo, hopefully, please subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload the new floor care videos. Also, please check my back catalogue. There must be about 500 or so videos. Lots of uh, vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, a few hard floor cleaners for you to look at. Um, some of my earlier videos aren't very good, so please forgive me. I'm not just talking about my very early, early videos when I had lots of hair. I'm talking about some of the other ones that I did only a few years ago. I cringe when I look at them now, so if you want to cringe along, you can look at them. So, that's Anilco. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.